Good morning, everybody. And hey, let's say goodbye to January today. This is January 31st, 2022. Let's get out of this month of cold, snowy weather, right? Well, we still got another month of it to go, but that's another story. We'll see what happens. But it's time to look at Psalm 138 for this coming Sunday. It's a collection of psalms from 138 to 145 that all have the superscription that it's a psalm of David. Now remember, you got to be careful. David may have been a part of writing some of these psalms. He may not have. They, the superscription of David can also mean attributed to David or dedicated to David, that sort of thing, because there's some clues within the psalms itself to tell us David probably didn't write these, especially when he talks about being in God's temple and bowing before his temple. The temple wasn't even built yet. That came in Solomon's time after David had already passed away. So keep that in mind too. But the whole point is a lot of them could describe things that happened to David. And these Psalms do that, especially Psalm 138. It's a Psalm of Thanksgiving for God providing a way of escape and helping someone out who's in trouble from their enemies. And David had a lot of that going on in his lifetime. So uh, a couple of things to look at. It's a short Psalm. Um, it's only eight verses long. So look at the whole thing. It's it's a good one. Um, it's it, it summarizes what a lot of the Psalms of Thanksgiving throughout the Psalter say. And you can look at it here in oh, verse two. I bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and faithfulness. Your steadfast love and faithfulness. And then down to verse three, on the day I called, you answered me. That basically summarizes almost every Psalm of Thanksgiving that we have in the Psalter, where, you know, the person's in trouble, call to God for help, God helps them, and they have a word of thanksgiving. Now, this is where it gets real interesting, and I just want to point these couple things out. Uh, when it talks about giving thanks uh, to God, it's a, it's a unique kind of verbal form in the Hebrew language that we don't have in our English language unless you use a lot of verbiage with it. So sometimes it gets overlooked and maybe even misinterpreted by our different biblical um, passages that we have. When you think of giving thanks, you say, oh, thank you, right? Well, it's a lot more than that. Not only is it giving thanks to God, it's giving thanks to God that has the effect of witnessing or confessing to others what God has done for you. So it's not just a private thing between you and God. This is a thing that gets spread throughout the community. So that's why it's a good psalm amongst the other psalms of thanksgiving that is used within a worship setting, which is what the Psalter was, things you would do in worship. And this especially could it be a psalm that was used by an individual who had gone through a very difficult time. In fact, it it's not talking about pulling you out of the difficulty. It's helping you through. Verse 7, Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve me. In this instance, it's against the wrath of my enemies. Um, you stretch out your right hand, which delivers me. And right hand, that, you know, that's your dominant hand for the most part, for most people. Not everyone, but it was symbolic of power and deliverance. God has the power to deliver us. And again, you can't get enough of the two other attributes that that kind of tell us who God is and how he relates to us. It's all about his hesed, his steadfast love, and his faithfulness. If you want to describe the Psalms as a whole, it's giving thanks for God's steadfast love and his faithfulness all the way through, you know, what, 150 Psalms? 
You got it just about everywhere. So this is a great psalm. It's one that's often tucked away and, and not really looked at a whole lot because, uh, you know, there's some other psalms that, that seem to have a lot more vibrance to them. But this one is perfect for you, for me, in any situation that we find ourselves uh, feeling down, feeling in trouble, feeling like the weight of the world is on our shoulders. Hey, God is there to lift us up, to show his love, his concern, his care for us in the midst of the tough times. Okay, I'll tell you right now, the midst of my tough times is going outside. You see, it's the light is getting brighter. Time to take care of the animals. And it's still, I don't know what it is today, 15 degrees out there. Hey, at least it's not zero, right? God's blessings be with you. And you stay warm and have a blessed day.